Hey everybody, welcome to Without Code. My name is Ashton. Today we're taking a look at our text animations widget. As we can see from our live demo, this widget is giving us this nice, elegant animation on our header text, which is of course completely customizable and allows for many different animation options. Now this was a highly requested widget from users, so we're really excited to introduce it. In fact, we've gotten tons of requests for animation widgets of all types, and we're currently working on some other really cool animation tools on our widget roadmap. This widget here will be the first of several new widgets to come, providing unique and dynamic animation and parallax movements for your site. Let's switch over to Architect. Right now I have our method theme open, and we're going to work with this header text here and replace it with something animated using our new widget. But before we remove this, let's take note of the styling here, which is put in place with just a normal text widget. We're using the Montserrat font, size 48, a header one format set to bold. Got it. Now let's get rid of this. Let me hover my mouse over it and we'll select the delete button to remove it. Now let's jump into our widgets panel. Now before we drag down our text animations widget, I wanna point out our new scheme for widget icons. As I scroll through here, you're gonna see a small handful of widgets with orange icons. These are our beta widgets. They're generally newer widgets and they'll be receiving frequent updates based on user feedback as time goes on. All of our beta widgets will eventually become standard widgets, as you can see most of these are with the regular gray icons, once they're proven reliable and offer everything that our users want. Now some widgets won't go into beta at all, but most of the more complex ones likely will. Now let me grab my text animations widget from our panel and I'll drop it onto the page right where the old text was. Perfect. Now let's enter some sample text in our text field. I'll type summer collection. Great. Now let's look at some of our other settings panel options. First thing here is our unique ID. This can be anything you want, but it has to be unique to this instance of the widget. So just make sure that if you have multiple instances of this widget on a single page, that you make a unique ID for each occurrence of the widget. Down here we have our heading type. It's set default to none, but you can give it header properties using the drop down and selecting H1, 2, or 3, depending on how large you want it to be. We'll go with H1 for now. Now let's expand our drop down for animation settings. First is the animation style, which we can see here there are several to pick from. So since our text is on the left, I think a fade in from the left side will look nice. There we go. And we even get a nice little demo of the animation right here in the editor when we select it. Now these next three options allow you to customize the speed. So if we wanted to slow it down, we could say add a 1000 millisecond initial delay. We'll change character animation speed to 200. And we'll make the delay time between character animations 100. And you're probably going to find it super handy to have the animation displayed in real time right here as you make the changes. It definitely saves some time. And lastly here we have two toggle options. You can set the characters to load in at random instead of in order, as well as have all the characters animate in at once instead of in succession. But we'll just go ahead and leave those off for now. Let's jump down into our loop settings. We have the option to enable looping of the animation, as we can see here. Now just keep in mind that the looping will not be reflected here in the editor or in preview mode. Even if you have it enabled, you're only going to see it occur once. We found that in testing, if you've got a bunch of text looping in the editor or in preview, it can cause things to bog down. So looping is disabled for preview, but of course will be visible once you publish. But we'll go ahead and leave it enabled, and we now get an option to set an out animation. Since it would now be looping, we now have an option for how the animation goes away as it's looping. And of course, as before, lots to choose from here in the dropdown. And we also have some speed and animation settings here again, just as before, which are pretty self-explanatory, so I won't go into each one in detail. However, before we publish, let's jump over to our design tab in the settings panel. You can of course customize the font, size, color, format, etc. Most of this is pretty close to our previous text already, but let's lighten up the color a bit. There we go. And then of course you have your normal widget spacing options down here on the bottom. So that should do it. Let's go ahead and give this a publish. And there we go. Everything is functioning perfectly. 
So that about covers it. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to experiment with the many options offered with this one. And of course, if anything comes up, don't hesitate to reach out to us in support. Take care.